Hello everybody and welcome back to the 35th episode of the 2020 presidential election state by state prediction series. In today's video, we have the state of New Mexico and its 5 electoral votes. It's considered to be a step below a safe state, so let's get right into it with the 2008 election results. Entering this particular cycle, New Mexico was originally considered a swing state after being won by less than 1% in 2004 and by less than 0.1% in 2000. Democrat Al Gore only won by a little over 300 votes in that race in New Mexico, which was actually closer than Florida, and it prompted a recount as well. But since its five electoral votes wouldn't sway the election results, it wasn't anywhere near as infamous. Nevertheless, the 2008 polls showed Obama up by a wide margin, and thus McCain pulled most operations out of the state before election day. And Barack Obama ultimately won with 56.91% to McCain's 41.78%. The state voted four points to the left of the country as a whole too, thanks in large part to the Hispanic and Native American vote going in Obama's column. And then in 2012, this time around, New Mexico was originally considered a safe Democratic state for Obama's re-election chances, but he actually ended up losing about 4% of support. He won with 52.99% to Republican Mitt Romney's 42.84%. Libertarian Governor of New Mexico Gary Johnson garnered 3.5% in 2012 as well. As for how the state voted as compared to nationally, 1.89 points to the left, which is actually less than half of how far left it voted in 2008. And although it was a relatively low turnout election, Romney actually received less votes than McCain did, even though his percentage total was higher. But moving on to 2016, Hillary Clinton was unable to win 50% of the vote, as Libertarian third party candidate and governor of New Mexico received about 10% of the vote statewide. And ultimately, this may have hurt Trump more than Clinton, as Trump only lost by 8 points. Hillary Clinton garnered 48.26% to Trump's 40.04%, and the state also voted to the left of the nation by just 0.08 points. So it was basically right on the marker of Clinton's popular vote total nationwide. And both candidates also received less votes than the 2012 candidates, which is very, very interesting. But that does it for the historical data. Now let's get into 2020, starting with the 538 forecast. They've got Biden at 55.3% and Donald Trump at 42.8% in the expected final popular vote results, which gives Biden a 12.5 point advantage. Then in the JHK forecast, they have Joe Biden at 55.8% to Donald Trump's exactly 40%. That results in a much wider 15.8 point lead for Biden in New Mexico. And next we have the Our Progress forecast. They've got Biden in between at 13.1 points in front, 54.5% in his column to Trump's 41.4%. And penultimately, The Economist's forecast which only compares the two candidates in a two-way race with no third-party candidates involved, they have Biden ahead by 13.4 points at 56.7% to Trump's 43.3%. And finally, in my own forecast, which has a final calculation of Biden at plus 12.8 and an expected popular vote finish of 54.7% to 41.9% between the two. And to cap all of that off, the data consensus, which is a combined average of all of the data you just saw, and it has Biden at 13.5 points ahead, and at 55.4% in total to Trump's 41.9%. So that does it for all of the data in New Mexico, and the polls have just closed so let's go to our EP studios. Election predictions official can project that Joe Biden is the winner in New Mexico, and he will carry the state's five electoral votes.
based on the mail-in ballot numbers we already have counted and exit poll data from in-person voting, Joe Biden is expected to win the state of New Mexico as polls close right here. This is a much different affair than four years ago, when New Mexico was considered a far more competitive race. Nevertheless, with all of the vote in, Joe Biden wins by 111,000 votes and a margin of 13.4 points over Donald Trump. He takes 54.78% of the vote in his column and Trump takes 41.4%. And looking at the county map, along with New Mexico's bellwether counties, Valencia County specifically is perfect in voting for the winner of every single presidential election winner since 1952, which makes it the only county of its kind. Hidalgo County also hasn't been wrong since 1972 and only has one miss overall. Luna, Eddy, Colfax, and Sandoval County are also considered bellwethers as they have only missed a few times in history. And former Vice President Joe Biden has won in five of six of these here counties with Trump only winning in Eddy County and by a considerable margin at that. Although Eddy County was wrong in 2008 and in 2012, the last two times Democrats won the Electoral College. And only time will tell if Valencia County keeps its longest active streak alive. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the updated electoral map. Joe Biden has gained five votes in New Mexico bringing him up to 167 electoral votes while Trump stands pat at 179. There are just 192 electoral votes still out there left to be called, with both candidates neck and neck as of right now. And finally, the popular vote totals where Donald Trump's lead has shrunk down to just 552,000 votes and by about 0.6 points. Joe Jorgensen, the Libertarian, and Howie Hawkins, the Green Party candidate, trail far, far behind as would be expected. But that does it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please like the video down below, as well as subscribe if you haven't already, so you never miss any of my videos in the future. Check out more content on your screen here, and specifically the playlist for this series too. Thanks so much for watching, and tune in next time. EP out.